Warning, this video is inappropriate for adults under the age of four. Kindly fasten your seatbelts as you will be climbing mountains. Your discretion is advised. Number set notation and language. J. There are two types of numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are any numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. Rational numbers are whole numbers, decimals, and fractions. An example of a whole number is 4. An example of a decimal is 0.1 or 0.33333. An example of a fraction would be half. Irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a fraction, and examples include pi, which is 3.14415926. Also, the square root of any number other than square numbers, such as the square root of 12. To find the nth term for sequences that increase uniformly, you see the difference between the numbers of the sequence. For this case, it's plus 2. Write the sequence of 2 underneath, then you see how the two sequences are related. In this case, it's plus 1, so the nth term would be 2n plus 1. To find the hundredth term, just insert 100 into n and you will get the answer immediately. For sequences that decrease uniformly, you will see the difference between the numbers of the sequence. For this case, it's negative 4. Write the sequence of 4 underneath. You will realize when you add the numbers of the first sequence and the second sequence, you will get 30. So the nth term will be 30 minus 4n. To find the hundredth term, just like before, replace n with 100 and you will get the hundredth term, which is negative 370. For sequences that increase without an equal difference, see what it is related to, either square or cube numbers, for this case, square numbers. So write the square numbers below the sequence, then you see how the two sequences are related. In this case, it's plus 1, so the nth term would be n squared plus 1. A set is a well-defined group of objects or symbols. The objects or symbols are called elements of the set. The elements of set A are 2, 8, 11, and 17, and the elements of set B are 1, 8, 17, and 21. This information can be displayed on a Venn diagram with set A and set B as circles with a common middle area. The elements of each set fall into their respective circles with the common elements in the middle. When we have A intersect with B, denoted by a curved N shape, we simply take the area in which A and B intersect, and take the elements which are 8 and 17. When we have A union with B, denoted by a curved U shape, we take every part that belongs to either and both sets, so the elements will be 1, 2, 8, 11, 17, and 21. I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but... There's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it Every step I'm taking A intersect with B, so we shade the area in which A shares with B, like this. A union with B, in brackets, complement, meaning we first take every part of A and every part of B, and complement meaning everything except the answer, so we shade the area that does not belong to either set. The symbol in the top left-hand corner is known as the universal set, which contains all the possible elements for that problem. Complement of B means everything but B, so we shade every part of the diagram except B. For this question, we will need to find the nth term. First, we find the difference between the numbers of the sequence, which is 1.5. So we write the sequence of 1.5 below it and see how the sequences relate. It is plus 4, so the nth term would be 1.5n plus 4. The question also asked for the hundredth term, so we insert 100 into n to get the answer, which is 154.